We are two weeks into the college football season, and I think it's safe to say that a lot of college football fans out there overreact each week, week in and week out. And today's topic is Iowa State football. And it's not just Iowa State football, it's a certain player on their team that some people have said has been disappointing to start off this season. This is B. Kelly back again with another banger video. In today's video, y'all, I am going to be talking about Brees Hall and how he's been playing so far two games into the 2021 college football campaign. Now, before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, as we are on the road to 10K. Now, let's get into it. To start it off, I am going to bring up some background information about Brees Hall before the 2021 season. Now, in 2019, as a true freshman, he was an immediate impact player for Iowa State's football program. As he played in 12 games, had 186 rushing attempts, 897 total yards of rushing, averaging almost 5 yards per carry, and 9 total touchdowns on the ground. And he was nice through the air as well as he had 23 receptions for 252 yards, averaging 11 yards per reception, and 1 touchdown through the air as well. In this season as well, he would be named to second team all Big 12, just as a true freshman. People were already taking notice of Brees Hall in 2019, but in 2020 is really when he would catch everybody's attention in that season. As in his 2020 campaign as a sophomore, he played in 12 games, he had 279 rushing attempts for 1,572 yards, averaging 5.6 yards per carry, and 21 total touchdowns on the ground. In this season as well, Brees Hall was a unanimous All-American, Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year, and First Team All-Big 12. Not only that, he also was number 6 in Heisman voting, as well as his football team just shocking the world this season as they had some big wins, made it to the Big 12 Championship game where they fell to the hands of Oklahoma, but they still made a New Year's Six Bowl bid for the Fiesta Bowl, where they ended up defeating Oregon in that game. Now, to fast forward just a little bit, heading into the 2021 college football season, Brees Hall is seen as the best running back going into this season. If people are betting on a guy to win the Heisman that's not a quarterback on the offensive side of the ball, they are taking Brees Hall most of the time because of how much of a dynamic player he is, who Iowa State has returning to help him out, and what he did in 2020. The guy was a unanimous All-American after all, just as a true sophomore. And now to talk a little bit more about Iowa State, they were ranked number 7 heading into 2021 in the AP poll, the highest they've ever been ranked in a preseason poll ever. And they've also were going to return some of the most highest production in returning talent in college football as well. This is their season to make even more noise, potentially going to be their first 10-win season in school history and their chance to make a playoff run. In week one of this current college football season, 2021, the Iowa State Cyclones came into this game as the number seven team in the nation, and they were going to take on Northern Iowa. Now, Northern Iowa is an FCS team, and they're not a bad FCS team by any terms, but with how Iowa State did in 2020, people were expecting them to blow them out, but that was just far from the truth, as it was a battle the entire game as Iowa State was actually losing in the first quarter 7-3. The final score of this game was an Iowa State victory 16-10. Now to talk about Brees Hall, Brees Hall in this game had 23 rushing attempts for 69 yards, averaging 3 yards per carry and 1 touchdown. In the air, it helped his game out a little bit more as he did have 4 receptions for 31 yards to make his all-purpose yards on the night 100 yards. You know what, it is only week 1, so early offensive struggles as a whole for Iowa State. It is a little shaky, but it is only week 1 and they have a track record of struggling in those week 1 games. Now for week 2. The week 2 matchup for Iowa State 
was against their rival in a top 10 matchup, College Game Day versus Iowa. It was number 9 versus number 10. Iowa State being ranked number 9 and Iowa being ranked number 10. And Iowa State has not been in Iowa in a while, and this is their chance to get vengeance for all those times Iowa has beaten them recently. This was the most hyped up matchup of the weekend besides maybe Ohio State versus Oregon. This game would not go Iowa State's way at all as Iowa just looked like the better team and much more physical team that day. They would end up losing 27 to 17. Brees Hall would have a better game with getting yards per carry than the last game versus Northern Iowa as he had 16 rushing attempts for 69 yards, averaging 4 yards per carry and 1 touchdown. But he had one costly mistake that really put this game out of reach for Iowa State. And that was his first career fumble that he has had so far in his college career right by their own end zone that was picked up, scooped, and scored for the Hawkeyes defense. Although the total game was not bad by Brees Hall by any means, the play that everybody remembers is the scoop in score. Now to run it down so far for the season for Brees Hall in 2021, just through two games, he's averaging 69 yards per game on the ground, having 138 total yards on the ground so far this season, three and a half yards per carry, and two total touchdowns on the ground. By no means is Brees Hall having a bad season at all. It's just not the season that everybody is expecting him to have so far and of course my take on it is it's literally week two of the season give it some time this guy may have a huge game the next week you really shouldn't count out guys who are top players heading into the season just like Brees Hall yes they're not really having their best groove right now in the first two weeks like you would expect them to they're not playing bad but they're not playing great they're pretty much just playing okay yes Brees Hall's yards per carry and yards after contact have gone down tremendously from the season prior but it is only week two and Iowa State as a whole on the offensive side of the ball is struggling right now they're struggling to find their groove, and despite returning so much talent on both sides of the ball, the offense is struggling, and Brees Hall is the best player on that offense still right now, even when he's not at his best. Brock Purdy right now in this season has zero touchdown passes thrown and three interceptions. He threw three interceptions versus Iowa. Not to mention, I do feel like it's worth bringing up but the O-line that was seen as one of the best O-lines heading into the season has not been great. They have not been performing like the expectations that they have had going into this season. And my take on this whole situation of some people overreacting to Iowa State or overreacting to Brees Hall not really playing like he's the best running back in college football right now is it's been two weeks. We gotta stop overreacting over two weeks. Now, if it's mid-season and we're seeing the same stuff from not only Iowa State and their offense as a whole, start calling them out. Go ahead, do that, because that's mid-season. It's hard to pick it up after mid-season if you've been struggling the entire season up to that point. But it's only been two weeks, and teams still have to clean things up, including Iowa State, even with some of their best players. I generally believe that Brees Hall is still the best running back in college football right now, even though he's not really showing it so far in this two-week season we've had for 2021. Like I said, it's early. Let's quit overreacting after two weeks. I still believe he is the best running back right now, but he definitely does need to show that he is the best running back and I know some of the people that are calling him out all of this all of that but like I said it's only been two weeks I think he's going to have some very big games this season as the season progresses and goes forward well guys if you guys have made it this far in the video 
Remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly, out.